In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Join Apostle John Udo today as he teaches the Word that was with God and is now with us for our transformation. Apostle John Udo, worth hearing. Whether the weather is okay or not, whether the economy is okay or not, you will continue to bring forth abundant fruit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please have your seat. Let me have more volume. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Can we clap for the men? Now, choir. Moses is joining the choir, Pastor Moses, because he has broken the yoke. And uh, glory be to God. What a mighty, mighty. I'm, I'm going to do this very quickly. Uh, because the men prepared, is it pounded yam or what did you put there? Hallelujah. So we have to do it very fast before it gets cold. Was it the men that cooked the food? Okay, the men directed the women while the women were cooking. Okay, okay, okay. It's well understood. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Now we've been having an amazing time looking at eschatology um, from the very beginning of the month and today by the grace of God we are looking at the millennial reign of Christ. The millennial reign of Christ happens immediately after the second coming of Jesus Christ and Lord I thank you because you will give us great understanding uh, of the millennial reign like we have never known before in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. And so as you can see on the board here, the right here we have from Adam to the church age covering the past, the past and the present. The past and the present. So from Adam to the church age, ends here actually the church age has operated for about 2000 years and we are at the end of the 2000 years of the church age the church age started with the cross of jesus christ when jesus died at the cross resurrected and ascended the church age started with the arrival of the holy spirit and the very next thing we are waiting for is the rapture of the church which happens towards the end of the church age like i've taught you before already um the lifespan of the earth is seven thousand years seven thousand years from the end of the millennial reign to adam is seven thousand years seven thousand years from the end of the millennial reign the millennial reign is actually a thousand year reign of Jesus Christ on earth a thousand year reign and so this 1000 plus the remaining 6000 gives us the 7000 year lifespan of the earth as ordained by God so when the rapture happens the next thing that comes up is the tribulation and the great tribulation seven year period divided into two the tribulation and the great tribulation seven years you can listen to um, the previous teachings to be able to understand what happened within this uh, seven year period while this is happening on earth there is also a seven year period in heaven those that have been raptured they're going to be having what we call the bema seat and the marriage supper the marriage supper is going to be happen paripasu up here while uh, the tribulation is happening down here now at the end of the tribulation the great tribulation jesus returns you see the arrow facing down jesus comes to the earth with the host of heaven with all of the saints descends to the earth and then the battle of Armageddon takes place 
um, the Antichrist, the, the beast, the false prophet, and Satan would have mobilized an army for the battle of Armageddon. And Jesus descends from heaven and destroys the army of the devil and an angel of the Lord arrests the false prophet and the Antichrist and cast them into the lake of fire the false prophet and the Antichrist comes into the lake of fire which is here so those two men are thrown in the lake of fire while the devil is arrested and put in the bottomless pit okay i'll just target bt the bottomless pit bp so the devil is put in the bottomless pit while the antichrist and the false prophet are put in the lake of fire the devil is put in this bottomless pit for a thousand year one thousand years and within that 1000 year period is when the millennial reign of christ will be happening on earth for 1000 years so while christ is reigning on earth for 1000 years satan will be falling in the bottomless pit for 1000 years so what is it that we know from scriptures about the millennial reign why is there going to be a 1000 year millennial reign why not just jesus comes on earth and we start eternity at once because you see we have a thousand year reign after which satan is released again and then there is the gog and magog battle and then the fire from god i'm summarizing it because i've taught it in previous teachings fire descends from god this is the throne of god here fire descends from god consumes the army of the wicked and then the great white throne judgment and finally satan is cast into the lake of fire all those whose names are not written in the book of life they are judged at the great white throne judgment they are cast into the lake of fire and then eternity begins the question then is why didn't god just start eternity from here as soon as the devil is destroyed just cast him in the lake of fire no need to put him in the bottom let's be throw him in here don't let him come out again let eternity begin straight away immediately after the second coming well the reason why that uh, will not happen is because there are great promises that god has given in scriptures concerning things he wants to accomplish on earth that cannot be accomplished on earth within this period before the millennial reign and i'm going to point out several of those things that can only happen during the millennial reign so the reason why we are having the millennial reign majorly is so that every promise that god has given concerning this current earth can come to pass because god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent if he has said these things will happen on earth they must happen and so every of those great promises are going to be fulfilled within the 1000 year period before the new heaven and the new earth comes and then eternity is fulfilled on earth revelation chapter 20 verse 6 tells us of the millennial reign of christ it says blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection on such the second death had no power but they shall be priests of god and of christ and shall reign with him a thousand years we shall reign with him how long a thousand years so when jesus returns with the believers the believers that had gone up here at the rapture and all the other tribulation saints that are raptured jesus returns with us all and then we shall reign as kings and priests with christ in the earth praise the name of the lord so what are some of the key points the things that happen within the millennial reign number one it is established that the millennial reign will last for a thousand years so we have a one thousand year reign on earth with jesus christ uh jesus descends uh, to reign as king of kings and lord of lords over the earth 
throughout the 1000 year period we will not have the time to read all the scriptures uh, I'll just say them out for you and you write them down you can look them up on your own Luke chapter 1 from verse 31 to 33 tells us of how Christ will descend and will reign as king over the whole earth throughout the 1000 year period and the number three all the saints in heaven and the army of heaven are gonna come to reign with Christ on earth first Corinthians chapter 6 from verse uh, 2 first Corinthians 6 verse 2 and second Timothy chapter 2 verse 12 all saints were gonna reign on on earth with Christ and remember when I spoke about the rewards of the saints some of the rewards for saints are uh, part of what we're gonna be doing here some saints are gonna have positions of authority reigning as kings over uh, particular nations of the earth and that would be number four that saints there will be saints that will be reigning as kings and priests with Jesus Christ on earth Revelation chapter 5 verse 10 we will reign in the earth with him as kings and priests so uh in the millennial reign a lot of things are going to happen that i will show you the earth is not going to be as it is presently now when jesus christ comes because the whole earth is going to change completely when jesus christ returns number five it will be an age of glory peace and harmony on earth an age of glory peace and so much harmony on earth it is a period when all of the prophecies the great and glorious prophecies that god has given concerning the earth will come to pass in fact there are prophecies you read in the bible and you know there is no way those kind of things can happen on earth now they are too good to happen on earth now and so they are only going to happen during the millennial reign when jesus christ is on earth you can write down um isaiah chapter 2 from verse 3 to 4 zechariah chapter 14 from verse 9 to 11 isaiah 2 3 to 4 zechariah 14 9 to 11 jeremiah 23 from verse 5 to 8 jeremiah 23 from verse 5 to 8 isaiah 11 from verse 5 to 9 Isaiah 11 5 to 9 Isaiah 32 from verse 14 to 18 I'll read one of the verses Isaiah 32 from verse 14 to 18 I'll read Isaiah chapter 11 from verse 5 and righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins and faithfulness the girdle of his reins the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb and will not eat up the lamb right and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them now that cannot happen in this earth right now a little child will be leading a lion uh, a wolf a leopard and all of that that can only be accomplished during the millennial reign in the millennial reign animals will lose their wildness because man will be reigning supreme as god on earth with jesus christ and so animals will lose all their aggression and will cooperate with uh, mankind on earth it says the cow and the bear shall feed together their young ones shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like ox when time when that time comes the lion will no longer be wild the lion will be eating grass have you ever seen the lion eating grass before you've not just make sure you are in the millennial reign you will see the lion eating grass according to scriptures and the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp and the wind child shall put his hand on the cockroaches then they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the lord as the waters cover the sea so verse uh, verse 9 would be our number 
Number six, the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord. As it is right now, the earth is not filled with the knowledge of the Lord. But when that time comes during the millennial reign, the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Number, number six, the nation of Israel is going to be revived so many scriptures about that there's going to be a restoration and a revival of the nation of israel jeremiah chapter 31 from verse 33 to 40 ezekiel 37 from verse 1 to 4 jeremiah 31 33 to 40 ezekiel 37 1 to 4 Micah chapter 4 from verse 1 to 4 and several other scriptures tells us of the revival of the nation of Israel because Jesus is going to be is going to be reigning from Jerusalem Jerusalem is going to be the capital of the world Jesus is going to be reigning as king from Jerusalem and uh, the nation of Israel the Jewish people are going to be revived completely and then apart from the nation of Israel the whole earth number seven or number eight the whole earth is going to be revived Zechariah chapter 14 from verse 8 to 9 tells us of that Zechariah 14 from verse 8 to 9 so the the whole earth is going to be transformed it's not going to be like what we have right now in fact it's going to be like the garden of Eden everything is going to be restored to what God originally wanted it to be this is regardless the fact that there will still be sinners that will be alive during the millennial reign the sinners that crossed over from the great tribulation and by now they have the mark 666 but they did not die during the Armageddon war they come over here they are the ones that the devil will come out from the bottomless pit after a thousand years to mobilize in the battle of Gog and Magog do you understand they are the ones that will respond to the devil when he is released again to fight against Jesus and the saints in the battle of Gog and Magog praise the name of the Lord and of course within this period one of the key reasons why there will be no evil in this period is because Satan has been bound and cast into the bottomless pit so there will be bottomless pit so there will be peace on earth he was bound in Revelation chapter 20 from verse 1 to 3 an angel came bound him and cast him into the bottomless pit praise the Lord um, concerning wild animals not being aggressive you can write down Ezekiel Ezekiel chapter 34 from verse 25 Ezekiel 34 from verse 25 the Bible says they will not be aggressive against human beings uh, a pastor told me the other day that he he was he went to feed his little all these um, American Eskimo dogs in he was trying to instruct the dog and the dog beat him he thought it was a joke he stretched his hand the second time the dog beat him stretched his hand the third time the dog beat him he grabbed something hit the dog and the dog died <laughs> and the wife said did you just kill our dog he said the dog beat me three times the wife started to cry and just and just left the house because she didn't want to end up it's becoming a quarrel in the house she just left the house he called me he said my wife has left the house I said what happened he said because I killed our dog <laughs> praise the name of the she just she carried her children and left the house to go and cool off outside before before coming back now so the, this was their dog but then it became aggressive against him and he regretted it he wasn't planning to kill it he was just angry this dog you beat me three times and hit the dog and uh, and that was it so but when that time comes the Bible says the dogs the lions all the animals they will not be aggressive praise the name of the Lord hallelujah won't you be glad to be around that time okay um, Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 25 says I will make with them a covenant of peace and will cause evil beasts to seize out of the land and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods 
you can go to the forest and sleep put your mat in the forest lie down and sleep you are not afraid of what will become of you whether the lion or the snake or whatever will bite you during the millennial reign everything is just going to be amazingly peaceful and then the next one is that the 12 disciples of jesus will be rewarded with eating at christ's table and judging sitting on thrones and judging the 12 tribes of israel they are going to be eating with jesus at his table and they will sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of israel you will find that in luke chapter 22 verse 30 luke chapter 22 verse 30 that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of israel so that disciples of jesus um peter james john and the rest of them are going to be sitting on thrones judging the 12 tribes of israel you also have that in matthew chapter 19 verse 28. israel also is going to possess all the land and all the boundaries that god promised them till today the nation of israel has not been able to possess all the lands and all the boundaries that god promised to abraham till date and because god promised it they must possess it and so since they cannot possess it up until the Armageddon battle it is in the millennial reign that they will possess all those territories to what it used to be in the garden of eden before the fall of man and then to bring to pass all of the promises that god had given to mankind which cannot under any circumstance be fulfilled before the millennial reign of christ so these are basic points as to why there must be a millennial reign of christ it is because the word of god must come to pass is as he spoken the word he will bring it to pass the bible says the word of god is tried in the fire seven times it comes out glittering the word of god cannot fail god is not a man that he should lie and truly as i read through the bible there are so many promises that are too good to come to pass in our current earth they are too good too sweet you take time to read all those promises that i've given you the scripture verses you realize that there is no way that they can happen on earth with satan around with demons around with wicked people all around they cannot happen but during the millennial reign satan is gone and the holy spirit is in charge and jesus is ruling and reigning and all of the good promises of god begins to come to pass now as all of these things happen for a 1000 year period at the end of the 1000 year period remember satan is in the bottomless pit falling but at the end of the 1000 year period satan is going to be released for a little while remember likely it's going to be for three and a half years he's going to be released and when he is released he will go about mobilizing the armies of the nations you will find that in revelation chapter 20 verse 7 he's going to be released from the bottomless pit and will go about deceiving people i mean anybody that can get deceived after 1000 years of reigning with christ does not deserve to continue with christ but they are going to be deceived because they don't belong to god they already have the mark of the beast and so they get deceived and the devil mobilizes an army like the sand of the sea against christ and the saints to come attack and take over the world again just like they did with the first adam you know the devil mobilized against the first adam and took over the world and uh, he is now the prince of the power of the air and the earth sort of belongs to him now he did it with the first adam and he's going to try it with the second adam 
he would want to war with the second Adam and then establish another reign on earth. But that is not going to happen because he's going to be destroyed. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 20 verse 9, fire comes down from heaven from God. Praise the name of the Lord and devours the armies of the earth the devil and all his army you see the fire coming from the throne of god and devours the army of the enemy and immediately after this happens now um there are scholars who believe and i believe that too that it's not just fire coming from god but god actually descends to the earth because god is going to end up being on earth with us here not just jesus christ in eternity God is going to be here with us. Praise the name of the Lord. So God descends, fire descends, and consumes all the armies of the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. And immediately after this fire incident, in Revelation chapter 20, um, the great white throne judgment is going to happen. In uh, Revelation chapter 20 verse 11, the great white throne judgment will happen. And the dead small and great will stand before god books will be opened another book will be opened the book of life and the dead we are going to be are going to be judged out of this book and anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life is going to be cast into the lake of fire so from the great white throne judgment all those whose names are not written in the book of life are going to be cast in the lake of fire which burn it with fire and brimstone and in revelation chapter 20 verse 14 death and hell will be cast into the lake of fire there are people anybody any sinner who dies now goes to hell and hell is different from the lake of fire this is actually hell it's not hell fire it's not really described in the bible as hell fire it's hell hades this is the one described with fire and so in revelation chapter 20 where i mention in verse 14 death and hell is going to be cast into the lake of fire so everyone here plus hell itself hell is going to be practically taken and dropped into the lake of fire which burns with fire and brimstone and then all those whose names are not written in the book of life are going to be cast into the lake of fire also and immediately after this the new heaven and the new earth is going to be established by god this is where eternity begins the new heaven and the new earth from god because the first heaven and uh, previous heaven and earth will be rolled away the atmospheric heaven and the earth will be rolled away and god is going to create fresh heaven fresh earth the bible says there will be no more sea and then the holy city of god the new jerusalem will descend from heaven the new jerusalem will be the capital of the world it's going to replace the present jerusalem comes and takes over it will be the capital of the world where jesus christ will be reigning from you find that in revelation chapter 21 verse 2 all the way to verse 10 you see the new heaven and the new earth descending from god to the earth and then a voice from heaven will say according to verse 3 in revelation chapter 21 a voice will say behold the tabernacle of god is now dwelling with men that means heaven comes down god comes down his tabernacle will now dwell with men on earth praise god and god will begin to dwell with men on earth like he dwelt with adam and eve in the garden of eden now there are people who say that god visited adam and eve in the garden of eden but there's no clear-cut statement about god visiting them in the garden of eden it appears to me like god actually lived in the garden of eden with them in genesis chapter 3 verse 8 the bible says god called to adam uh, adam heard god walking in the midst of the garden he didn't hear god coming down from heaven he just had God taking a stroll in the cool of the evening. That means he lived there. He just was taking a stroll. Adam heard him taking a stroll. And then God said to Adam, where are you? And he said, I heard your voice and I hid myself. 
So the Bible does not say that God was visiting them and going back. It appears like God was living with them in the Garden of Eden. And so here with the enthronement of the second Adam, God descends and lives with men on earth. Praise the name of the Lord. And in verse 4 of Revelation chapter 21, the Bible says all tears will be wiped away. Hallelujah. There will be no death. There will be no sorrow. There will be no crying. There will be no pain. There will be no sicknesses. I thought you'd be excited about that. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. In fact, verse 5 of Revelation chapter 21 says, Everything will be made new. Glory be to God. Everything will become brand new. And in verse 7 it says, We are going to inherit all things. Glory be to God. All things are going to belong to to us while all the sinners are cast into the lake of fire satan is cast into the lake of fire we are going to reign eternally on earth with jesus christ and all things will belong to us what is it that makes a man qualified to be part of this eternal life with god on earth it is captured in revelation chapter 3 from verse 18 as i close Revelation chapter 3 from verse 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh, I will grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and I'm set down with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. Verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Jesus is standing at the door of your heart and is knocking. If you have not let him into your heart, this is that opportunity you have to let Jesus into your heart so that you can be saved and qualified to be with Christ, to go with Christ at the rapture, to return with Christ for the millennial reign of a thousand years on earth, and to enjoy eternity with Christ with God and his angels forever on earth. Rise upon your feet and call upon the name of the Lord. If you're not born again, if you've not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, please pray this prayer with me so that you can be saved, washed by the blood of the slain Lamb of God. You can have your name written in the book of life then you will be ready for the rapture and every other good thing that comes after the rapture so say this prayer after me father in heaven have mercy on me i repent of my sins and i confess jesus christ as the son of god who came to the earth and shed his blood and died for my sins I confess that Jesus is your son and I accept him as my Lord and my Savior. Cleanse me Lord and write my name in the book of life. Thank you for saving me Lord. If you have been blessed by this ministration, follow Apostle John Udo on Facebook at Apostle John Udo. To follow on YouTube, Type John Udo Ministries. If you need prayer, counseling, deliverance, or follow up, call plus 234 806 036 1421. Plus 
one four two one. And remember, all things are possible.